The first thing to know about these numbers is there is a margin of error, which means this number is best thought of as the center point in a range of possible outcomes. On average, for a sample size of 1,000, any number that's 3% different in either direction could still technically be accurate. And that's simply because any time you depend on a sample to represent a larger population, there's a lack of precision. A general rule of thumb is that the bigger the sample size, the smaller the margin of error. Hi everyone. So today we are going to replicate three animations from the master of infographics animation, which is Vox. As you might have seen in many of his videos, his designs are spectacular and the way he presents information is, you know, very easy to understand. Okay. So first will be this animation, which we'll replicate. And then second will be this animation. And lastly, this animation. Okay. So let's begin so in this first animation let me keep this aside for now Strike the audio yeah so first let's take a default text select this hit windows plus dot key in the symbols select this square and increase the font size now i'll bring my playhead here and select this color pick tool and click here now you get that background okay now the next thing is making these lines okay so if you see clearly in the video these lines are fading in and out okay to give the breathing effect so what we'll do is bring in our default text and hit underscore key okay now it's too thick so we'll decrease the scaling and rotate it then i'll be placing this over here now we have got our line okay it's too big so let's decrease the size okay now it's okay so i'll make the copies now the distance between the lines are not perfect but you get the idea now select everything head on to animation loop and you can see, see this flash okay and select this now you will see that you are getting that you know effect but what i want is to make the effect random meaning they will not do flash effect you know uniformly but at random okay. now i'll select one by one and change the animation duration it should be different for all okay so that there is randomness in the you know animation now you can see they are you know fading in and out at random times so this is looking good now for the next one what we will do is as you can see there are numbers written here so the far end of the numbers on the both sides are you know less opacity and in the middle they are at normal opacity so what we can do is bring in default text okay and then just simply you know write the numbers i'm just going to write one two three four five six okay okay now i'll make one and two six and seven lighter so i'll select them head on to opacity and decrease the opacity something like this okay so we get this now i'll bring in this to images of the balls okay so again windows press dot key select the circles okay let me see yeah so they are at the center okay here so what we are going to do is bring it over here okay make one red and another one will be blue okay but as you can see they are lighter which means we have to select them and decrease the opacity or just you know keep them a bit lighter color or shade yeah let me keep it like this okay now we have to just you know in make 
them compound clicks separate key head on to effects and search for play pendulum then and put play pendulum on this decrease the strength twist speed and sharpen okay and rebound swing on the blue wall decrease the speed and sex okay now we have got that movement also now this circle animation for that circle animation i have been in the animation i need this in after effects and you know provide it to you so let's first arrange it properly so just keep the blue one here and the red one below that over here somewhere yeah put this animation somewhere over here okay and then let's copy this and put it below okay so let's see our animation okay so we have got that same animation as you can see over here okay everything we have done this text done the lines done the circle animation okay now the only thing remaining is you know this thing and this text okay so after this rotation is done simply just head on to text okay and then take space head on to background okay and then select this blue color okay decrease the height head on to transform De deselect the scale property and decrease the height over here also okay should match this and just go a little bit below this okay so this is good now i just have to increase this and you know make another one put it here so i'll just head on to opacity and decrease it to 45 and same here okay now we can see we are getting the similar results but we have to do the animation okay so the animation will be simple basically you make it a compound clip first okay now after you know this animation is done from here it will start okay select them mask add mask and select film strip okay then rotate it like this okay and open it till here then hit on the keyframe go ahead again hit on the keyframe go to the first keyframe and close it up so you got this animation now you have to only make it smoother so just hit on Q's account okay that's it so we'll get this animation now i'll run on to pdo and do the same thing with the blue one okay so with this we have got this animation only thing is there is this part so i think it's too big so what i'm going to do is just select everything except the background make it a compound clip at them make it smaller okay and then you can just write the text over here okay margin of error okay hit underscore key copy it rotate it 90 and join it like this okay we get something like this and then make it a pom pom clip afterwards just make it smaller okay like this then here we just copy it put it over here and then mirror you get the opposite one okay simple as that now just simply select everything hit alt press g okay then at the start head on to video mask add mask split go here keyframe go ahead hit another keyframe and drag this cubic out okay so you'll get this animation so with that our first animation is done now we'll be moving on to our second animation 
so in this okay it's not basically a type of animation but a design so okay i will show you what has been done over here as you can see the box line is very thin but if we you know hit windows plus dot key and select you know this boxes and increase the size the thickness of the line will become very much so what we'll be doing is simply you know head on inside this and then copy one of the lines which we just made okay so i'm just going to taste it head on to animation and then make it none okay keep it here copy it rotate it put it over here okay and then let's add more underscores now as we have got our rectangle we just simply have to put alt plus c to make it a compound clip okay now as you can see there are some you know small dots so which are circles simply just select this okay hit the dot key okay you have got this circle okay now just fill this up okay so what you can do is just copy them okay and place them something like this okay i have to do this manually and fill this up okay i'm not going to waste my time by doing that so the next thing is uh this part okay so as you can see these all are moving and then this is there so nothing is there just simply what he has done is first hit you know the dot then make it yellow make it a bit bigger now i simply head back in copy the line and paste it okay but this now simply i have to just you know delete some of the lines and basically put it here and then copy it and again increase the number of lines or underscore put it like this okay make sure it matches properly so that's done now simply you know select all of this hit alt plus g on all of this and then make it smaller okay and then i can use my you know png head on to filters stylize and then search for negative here and put negative over here and then just you know place it like this okay for the movement again i can head on to effects and put on my bound swing okay so we get this as you can see it is the same you know slight movement is there this i showed you how to make okay simple as that and this one okay again make a box again some lines and then this so the design is also very simple on this okay just the way the idea he has used completing this is your task so complete all of this and for the last animation okay this part is interesting and you will be learning a new trick okay as you can see the circles inside the box are moving up okay wait let me show you if you see properly over here yeah as you can see the circles inside the you know box are moving up so to do that animation what we are going to do is basically let's copy this our rectangle and put this put it over here okay make it smaller now i'll bring in my default text okay hit the dot key and place it so i'm just going to copy this after filling the top layer what i'm going to do is select all of them head on to animation and in the loop i'll hit scroll up but as you can see it's very fast so i'll increase the speed okay so it will be this slow animation okay now 
simply i'll just select all of these hit r plus g to make them a compound clip and then just copy this okay just go ahead and then place it okay just below that again copy the next one place it again copy the compound clip and do this again and again till the box fills up and for the last time okay so with this our uh, you know box is filled up now the next thing which is to be done is select the whole thing hit alt plus g to again make the compound clip okay and then what we are going to do head on to mask add mask and select rectangle and then mask it to the shape of the boundary or the rectangle okay so with this what happens is the circles don't show outside the box only inside the box okay so as you can see you are getting the effect okay now we want this animation to continue so what we are going to do is just copy this again and move it forward okay okay now it's looking good so you know this will be different for everyone because it depends on the size of the circles the distance of the circles okay so you have to just move it remember to move it horizontally don't change the position of the circles inside okay just you know move this horizontal in the uh, in the timeline so let's see our animation as you can see we have got this okay now after this last one ends over here you have to just you know cut it okay and then again you have to repeat it so just bring it over here okay so let's count the number of keyframes which is from here to here so these are 35 keyframes so i'll just move 35 keyframes ahead So as you can see, my distance okay is 35 keyframes between the first clip and the second clip. So whenever I put the clip, I have to make sure that the distance should be 35 okay keyframes. So again, I'll just move ahead and then paste it here. So as you can see, you get this never-ending loop of the circles. is as simple as that okay so with this we have finished our three animations hope we learned something new from this video and are able to replicate this in one of your projects see you in the next video